بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته today we are going to completing our lesson in unit six vocabulary and grammar we talked about the phrasal verbs and and modal verbs and other things and today we are going to complete this lesson it's in page seventy three and seventy four okay. Uh, you are will be uh, practice and uh, in and, uh, identifying the phrasal verb meaning during or from the context in the context uh, that means during uh, reading when you read the uh, sentence you can identify okay phrasal verb uh, meaning from the context uh, present and practice in using uh, prepositional phrases with for and without. So we will use for and without, also in context. Uh, present and practice in using model verb also in context. Okay. In our lesson today. First one, vocabulary, vocabulary. First one, phrasal verb, keep. As you know, keep, uh, the verb keep. Look at the following extract from the radio interview in the listening section that we listened yesterday and match the phrasal verb in the bold with their corresponding, with their appropriate uh, meaning. A or B. Let's read the first one. In order to keep up with the growing demand for premium chocolate, in 2005 or 2005, we decided to move, etc. So, in order to keep up with growing, to keep up with growing, what's the meaning? Maintain or keep pace, uh, sorry, key, uh, keep pace with. Okay, keep pace with uh, working, uh, uh, keep working or uh, continuing. Okay, we have to con uh, constantly keep up our responsibility. So they keep up their responsibility. So they change their responsibility. They make a change in their responsibility. So the first one, keep up, means what? Keep pace with. And the second one, keep up, means what? Maintain. So it's the same phrasal verb, but different meaning because of the context is changed. So uh, now I want you understand and try to find the meaning uh, through the or throughout the context. Okay. This is uh, a practice or exercise for uh, the phrasal verb uh, with their meaning. We have keep off, kept on, keep to, keep down, or keep down, keep back. The, 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 the verb here in all the sentences, the verbs in all the sentences are same, are similar, okay? But the difference is in the prepositional okay the difference is in the prepositional so the prepositional with the verb uh, uh, when the preposition combined with the with the verb to uh, make or uh, uh, to make the phrasal verb uh, uh, sorry uh, again uh, the verb the prepositional verb or the phrasal verb it's different in the meaning from one uh, to another Okay, this is keep off and keep on. There is a different meaning in these two words. Even they have the same verb, but the different preposition. So we will take the, read the first one. Hey, you keep off the grass. Keep off, keep off. So the grass. So what's the meaning of keep off? We can find here. Okay, stay away from, stay away from. Despite the heavy rain, it's, it's raining 
uh, a lot, like it's raining uh, dogs and cats, that means it's raining a lot, despite heavy, raining, heavy rain, the boys kept on playing. They keep on, kept on, kept because it's in the past simple. And this is the past uh, simple uh, form. Okay, they still playing, they still playing. The meaning is continue, keep on means continue. Okay, keep to the speed limit or else I will get out of the car. Okay, keep the speed limit. The speed limit is 120, okay? And his friend told him to keep uh, to the speed limit. Don't increase your speed, okay? Don't increase your speed. You now keep on the limit or below. So keep under control. Sorry, stick to. Sorry, stick to. Okay, it's getting too loud in here. Keep it down. Uh, keep it down. Okay, keep it down. Not reveal. I'll keep under control. Yes, keep under control. Okay. Why do you always keep back all the interesting gossip? That means not reveal. Not reveal. Don't say anything. Keep back. Okay. Uh, propositional phrases with for and without. Look at the following extract from the radio interview. Also, this extract is from the uh, radio interview. Uh, do you know any other? He want any other proposition phrases start with for or without. Okay, we need for and without. Let's find. For instance, for instance, or for example, this is, uh, there is the sea turtle bar made with the dark chocolate and uh, blueberries. Look at the second sentence. Chocolate is one of the most loved and most consumed uh, food the world over without, without what? Exceptions. Without exception. These are the words uh, coming uh, with the phrasal verb. Look at the exercise here. Read the sentence and correct pre propositional phrases. Choose the correct one. What will you choose? Without exception or without warning? Read the sentence. You will find the answer from the context. I want everyone here at a 9 p.m. sharp. Sharp, that means exactly. Okay? Without exception or without warning. We will try or we will choose without exception. No excused. Without doubt, without fail, this is the best apple pie I have ever had in my life. So, without doubt. Uh, I think we finally got rid of our ant problem. For instance, or for good. Say, for good. Okay. For instance is coming usually at the first of the sentence. Okay, to give the example. Why don't you make dinner for change or for a while? Okay, he, I think he didn't make uh, dinner. So, for what? For change. Suddenly, the two men started shouting at everyone in the bank without warning or without doubt. No, without warning. They didn't tell anybody they will shout. Okay. Uh, there are many things to do at the spa, for instance, for good, and there is uh, a sentence after that, you can sit in the uh, jacuzzi or go in the sauna, for instance. You have choices. I guarantee that we will finish this without fail or without exception. We will finish this without fail. I am going to watch some TV for a while, for sure. And then I will do my homework. So then he will do his homework so for a while. He didn't have anything at all the dinner, at all for dinner. He wasn't hungry for good or for sure. 
for sure because he didn't eat anything or he didn't have anything for dinner. Get everyone out of the building without delay or without uh, doubt, no, without delay, okay? Now we have model, uh, uh, sorry, model verb two, model verb, we studied more of the model verb one in the grammar and vocabulary in unit six. And now we are going to study the model verb two. Read the example below and complete the box with the missing model verb. Put the missing model verb here. We have four situation. Uh, certainty, we are absolutely, we are absolutely sure about something. Okay, we are absolutely sure about something. Here, uh, positive uh, deduction, we are almost sure that something is true. Okay, almost, that means approximately around that something is sure. The uh, negative deduction, we are almost sure that something is not true. Okay, is not true. It's against this one. And uh, possibility, something is possible to happen, but uh, we are not sure. So this is maybe happening in the future, and we are not sure. Okay, and this is we are absolutely sure. Okay, and this is we are almost sure about something is true, and this one almost sure about something is not true or negative. Okay, uh, read the first one. It might rain later, so take an umbrella just in case. Just in case. Okay, he is absolutely sure, or he is, uh, sorry, yes. Uh, possibility. Is that absolutely or possibility? It's possibility because he is not a uh, guarantee that will uh, rain soon. So we can take mind. It's possibility. Don't worry, your brother will be, your brother will be waiting for you at the station. He is absolutely, he is absolutely sure about that will happen. His brother will be uh, staying him, or sorry, waiting him uh, in, uh, at the station. So we can write here, what will. If you are sure about something will happen, okay, or absolutely sure that you can use will. Or if you, possibility, if you are not sure about that, 100% or uh, mostly, you can use can or may or might or could. Let's take that. Next one, she can't, this is negative, this is negative. Directly, we, can, we use negative with the negative and positive with the positive. We can't be Tom's mother. She is or she's too young. She can't be Tom's mother. She's too young, she's still young. So we can use can't here. And another last one, uh, John must be at home now. There is light in his bedroom. Because there is light in his bedroom, he must be at home right now. <coughs> Note, might is used to express slighter possibility, okay? For something to happen than may. Read the sentence and take a correct, correct answer. My father, okay, we will read the 10 sentences and we will choose the correct answer. Well, if we are absolutely sure or may, if we are not absolutely sure, maybe that's happen, okay? Let's read or uh, if we talk about negative deduction or positive deduction. My father will or may pick you up from the airport, but I am not 100% sure yet. Okay, because if he is not 100% sure, I will choose may. Second one, Philip Kant must not be serious about buying a new car. I don't think he can afford it. He doesn't have uh, the money, so we will use can't or must. I will use can't. As I learned, we must, we might go to France next summer. We just have to wait and see if we will change, uh, sorry, if we will manage uh, to save up enough money. So, they are not sure, but they are 
approximately go to uh, France next summer. Uh, Ikram must or might be the youngest member of the team. He is only seven and all the other members are teenagers. So he's not might, he must. I give you my word, I give you my word. So I promise you, uh, Martha will or might look after your cat while you are away. Okay, she will. She will because she, give, uh, she gives her uh, words. Rana might or must not be able to come back tomorrow because of the bad weather. I don't know. I am not exactly uh, know that, so I will choose might. I think we can't might find olive oil in, the sh in this shop. Okay, let's try. Let's try. He doesn't know exactly uh, is there or not. If he know exactly that's uh, not available, he will use, for example, uh, well, or we use can't as a negative uh, deduction. John isn't answer, answering the phone. He can't. He may be in the bathroom. We will use maybe. Uh, Henry must or might be here. I'm sure I heard this voice. I heard his voice. He's here. Because of that, I said must. That can't won't be Julia. She's in London at the moment. So, can't. Okay. Please go to uh, grammar reference page 94. It's very important to visit or to look. This is in 94, the model verb, uh, look at the chart here, will use with the certainty when we absolutely sure about something, when we are uh, sure about something that happened. Call him at home, he will be there. We are absolutely sure about that. We use also for possibility, can and could, may and might. We can use possibility in the present or future something in the present or future, and can is used when something is only something uh, sometimes possible, might is used to express slighter possibility than may, okay? Uh, this is the example about can, you can say my brother can be very rude sometimes, not all the time. Uh, George could be working late tonight. I use couldn't, maybe, and here we can use may and might. Uh, for deduction, we can use also must and can't. Must for positive and can for, uh, can't for negative. Positive deduction uh, about the present or future, we are fairly sure, fairly sure, not 100%, but we are fairly sure. John must at the dentist's. He was complaining about his toothache. Because he was complaining about his uh, toothache, he is in the uh, dentist. Okay? And last one, negative deduction about the present future. Also, we can tell that something is not true. Is not true. Negative. Uh, the 6.30 uh, train to Liverpool can't be leaving yet. It's only 6.10 uh, 10 or 10 past Six, need for 20 minutes to uh, move or to leave. Okay, uh, this is the last thing. Thank you uh, for paying attention and see you inshallah uh, next class. Goodbye.